be like the balloon. If you go through the effort to inflate a balloon and then you let go of it, all the air will rush out from inside the balloon through this wide open hole in its rubber neck, causing it to go like this. Air is blowing out of it and all your hard work that went into inflating it is gone in a mere second. However, if you inflate the balloon and instead of letting it go and all the air rushing out, if you stretch the rubber neck of the balloon so that it is narrower and so that the hole in which the air is escaping is more adducted, then you will get this. You can hold that sound for a minute, if not longer, in which the air is escaping, but it's doing so in a much slower pace and in a much more pressurized way that causes this horrible balloon squeak sound. So when it comes to singing, it's the same exact way. Would you prefer to do this? And all your hard work be gone in seconds? Or would you prefer to do this? Singing is the same exact way. When we take a deep inhalation and we inflate our lungs, we expand our intercostals, take a deep breath as our lungs get filled, our diaphragm descends, and we can also create our onset, that yawn position, in which the palate is raised and the larynx naturally lowers and everything is very relaxed. Now that we have our breath, before we exhale, there's just a fraction of a second when we're in this suspended phase. This would be the equivalent of me inflating the balloon and I am holding the air in. No air is coming in and no air is coming out. It is suspended. So no air is coming in. However, no air is coming out either. This is where we feel our support right before we're about to sing. As soon as we sing, we want to make sure we adduct our cords. That would be the same thing as taking this balloon and stretching its rubber neck very narrow so that we don't just blow through all our air. We want the air to release, but in a suspended, controlled manner. This way we're able to control the breath as it's being exhaled in a very narrow opening with constant cord adduction. Ah, 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 ah. The sound will also come out much more squillante, much more resonant, just like the balloon squeak, because air is not being blown out, but slowly escaping in a very pressurized, narrow position. <laughs> so remember, next time you take a breath before you sing, be like the balloon. <laughs>